Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about the DFS that is depth first search algorithm. So in depth first what we do if we start from one node means we uh, till we reach the goal node we dig deep into uh, the shallowest uh, path to find the root node. Okay, sorry to find the goal node. Start from a starting node till you find the required node that is the goal node you should go on. Uh, searching in depth okay so here if suppose my node is yeah, uh, here in this problem g is my goal node so i should start from the root node till i reach the goal node in depth so it's not in the form of a breadth okay so now given any uh, state space tree try to construct the tree uh, uh, construct the graph in the form of a tree structure so the same tree is uh, what I used for BFS. Now we are going to use for DFS. So just we have constructed in the form of a tree structure. From A you can reach B and C. So from A, B and C. From B there is a connection to D and D. So we wrote here D and D. From D you can reach C and F. So we wrote here C and F. From F you can reach G and H. From F you can reach G and H like this. So now here, this DFS follows the LIFO data structure, last in, first out. But breadth follows the Q data structure, first in, first out. So now, which is in the fringe, in the Q, initially we have the starting node A. The starting node A you should take. Okay. So now we are going to uh, move the A into the fringe. Okay. Next, well, whenever this node is getting expanded, copy that node separately like this in the output. Okay. So, A is getting expanded. The siblings of A are B and C. Push them in the alphabetical order. First, you push C and then you push B because last in, first out. The first one should be re uh, removed is B here. So, push C and then B into the Q. Now, B is be getting expanded means pop out B from the Q because B is not our goal node. Till we reach the goal node, you have to do this. G is our goal node. So, B. B has siblings D and E. So, first you push E and then you push D. So, already C was there. Now, in place of B, its children are coming. So, that is E is pushed then D. Okay. So, last in, first out. The last element inserted here is what now? D. Okay. Now, what are the siblings of D here now? See, in depth I am going now like this. Not to, not like this in breadth. I am going straightly like this. Next is D. So, D's children are C and F. So, first push F and then C. So, first push F and then C. Okay, next you have, uh, who is there in the queue now? C. C is the last element inserted. So, we are coming here now. So, C as sibling G. Pop out C from the queue. We popped out C from the queue while you are expanding. So, C is having only one child, G. Now, we added G into the queue. Okay. So, now, G is the only is our goal state. Okay. We have reached our goal state here now. So, just remove this from the fringe. So, G. So, this is what our output here. A, B, D, C, G. Okay. Now, we have reached the goal node from the starting node. See how in depth it is coming. One inside, one inside, one inside like this it is coming to reach the goal. Okay, so here, uh, what do we say here is DFS has more space complexity and it does not give an optimal solution. Okay, DFS sometimes, uh, uh, if there are infinite number of nodes, if the depth increases and if you're not able to reach the goal state at all, means infinitely it will dig deeper, 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 deeper. Okay, so that is the drawback of DFS. We cannot say that we will get the solution using DFS. But BFS is more advantage compared to DFS because BFS always gives us some solution. Okay, guys. Next, we'll see the second problem on uh, BFS. Sorry, DFS. Now, here, given this problem, S has siblings A and H. So, same way you start in the fringe initially, we have S. So, copy S now. So, who are the siblings of S? A and H. So, first push H into the queue and then A. Okay, in the, uh, because it is last in first out data structure. Now, A you have here, A has siblings here, B and C, this node, B and C. So, first you push C, then B. So, here A is getting expanded, copy A here. So, A is uh, replaced with C and B. 
okay now who is the node here b b is not our goal node our goal node is what here g so now b we have to expand b has what d and e first you push e and then you push d okay next what we have to do do d is getting expanded pop out it from the fringe okay next d is getting d if you see here you don't have any children here just pop it out no need to add anything next you have e okay guys so here e also if you see here e also doesn't have any children here just pop out e then what happens it is going now here who is the next one in the queue here c now if you see the c here see if c here so it means it is backtracking just we have copied it c now c has sibling what c is popped out when c is popped out its sibling g is added so g is added here g is our goal node here so g is getting popped out here so you are left out with h so since you have reached the goal node from the starting node you stop here okay so this is the fringe okay what we want in order to compute the solution using dfs so here what we understand here is this dfs supports backtracking hope you understood please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment